Central Florida, of course, has seen excessive force claims here as well. We're joined tonight live by Noel Carter, who was convicted of battery on a law enforcement officer. And Noel, you claim you were defending yourself against officers who were caught on camera kicking you outside an Orlando nightclub. And it again was caught on camera. Thanks for being with us. I appreciate the time. Thanks for having me. Give us your perspective on what happened to you and what you've been watching happen to others around the country. Um, I think it was just a glimpse into lack of police training and uh, more of a need for police reform. Uh, I think it starts at the top, and I think the members of our call, um, they'll try their best to defend themselves and defend their positions. Um, but I think they need to take onus into account that it's been years since my incident, and they're still in position. Nothing, not much has changed. So, uh, no, as we watch this disturbing video of what happened several years ago, do you think that we are now in the midst of change? Or is this, in your opinion, just the latest rhetoric? Uh, I believe it's the latest rhetoric. Um, I think the, the images of, you know, Mina, uh, the chief of police of City of Orlando, kneeling with protesters and then moments later tear gassing them and pepper spraying them is just uh, an indication of exactly what's consistent with law enforcement and consistent with the people in power. They do not care about the people. Uh, they care about their position, and that's what they look to preserve as opposed to the safety of the people. In all fairness, we're going to hear from right. former police chief John Mina momentarily, also the current police chief of Orlando. But, Noel, as you look as to what has happened, George Floyd's case, of course, the knee for eight minutes there, I know that you, like many others, are hopeful that this is the uh, time that we do change and that this sort of thing stops. We can all hope for change. Um, I heard is it a metaphor that racism is a boulder that's being pushed uphill. And at this moment, everybody has their hands on the boulder and they're pushing collectively. Uh, but when this moment changes and people lose focus, uh, that boulder rests again with the people that have been disenfranchised and the less fortunate. And will those people still keep their hands on the boulder and still continue to push that fight uphill? Again, that's why we're bringing this all to the surface again and uh, hoping our viewers also can see what's happened to people like yourself. We'll talk again. Thanks, Noel. Meantime, Orange County Sheriff John Mina was the chief during the Carter case. You heard him reference there. And current Orlando Police Chief Orlando Rolone is also with us live tonight. We understand the city just reached a settlement in the Carter case, but you still may not be able to discuss the specifics. Now, given that, do you see OPD's training policy changing in light of the George Floyd case and other excessive force cases. Let's begin with a comment from Sheriff Mina. And again, Sheriff Mina, you heard Noel Carter talk about you kneeling and then the pepper spray happening basically a short time after that. First react to that if you could. Yeah, well, uh, thanks for having me. And, you know, uh, me kneeling uh, was merely a gesture towards the protesters. I, both me and Chief Alone approached them and asked them, you know, why are you protesting? We want to hear from you. And, and they told us why they were there, and they asked us uh, to kneel with them. You know, the, the tear grass that was uh, referenced later uh, wasn't my call, but it is my understanding and, um, that, you know, officers and deputies were struck with rocks and bottles, and that's why uh, the tear Tear gas was there. You know, I think um, law enforcement does deserve a little credit for the incremental changes that we have made over the decades, uh, whether that's you know, body worn cameras, uh, more de escalation tra training, you know, bans on chokeholds, uh, open data, and other things that we have put in place. And, you know, in addition to that, in 2016, you know, the president of the International Association of Chiefs of Police, Terry Cunningham, at the time, uh, apologized to the African-American community for the injustices that have been done at the hands of law enforcement uh, going back decades. So I, I think that shows that law enforcement, you know, we're not perfect. Uh, certainly, there's always room for improvement. Uh, but there are men and women out there right now uh, protecting this community at risk to their own lives. So, Sheriff Mina, again, we've heard the talk, the pros and cons, Justice and Policing Act. Experts suggest meaningful reforms will come not on the national but the local and state level. Are you committing tonight to making those reforms a reality with the Sheriff's Office here in Central Florida? Yeah, absolutely. You know, going back to when I was chief and the changes I've made there to our use of force policy and now as sheriff, those changes continue. And so what we're doing now, you know, I've phone, I formed not only an internal uh, group of experts to look at our policy to follow best practices, but I've also uh, relying on my Citizens Advisory Council to look at our policy through the lens 
of our residents and let us know what changes to be made. So the good news is a lot of the ideas and suggestions that you've heard nationally and here locally, uh, many of the police departments in Central Florida have already adopted those policies, such as a ban on chokeholds uh, and other things. You know, we haven't done no-knock warrants in years. And so you know, we, there needs to be a little bit of credit for the progressive uh, steps that we have taken here in Central Florida uh, to make us better and to make our use of force policies better. All right, thank you very much, Sheriff John Mina. Orlando Police Chief Orlando Rolone will join us momentarily. Again, this is a live program. We're working on his signal right now. Vanessa?